Hi guys, um, today I am going to be um, talking about something that I didn't think I would be talking about today. Um, but um, this morning I was watching a um, video on a channel that I'm a, that I'm a big supporter of. Um, the channel obviously being called Pig, uh, called uh, Pygmy Puff Reads. Uh, I'm a big supporter of her channel and her content. And uh, this morning um, she was doing a video on the... Uh, getting to know me tag and uh, she uh, tagged me in the video and gave me a massive shout out so thank you so much for doing that for me I mean I really do appreciate shout outs I really do appreciate it so she didn't say that I should do this or but she kind of encouraged me to do this if that makes sense so um, she had a list of all questions that she was asking on her description, which I'll put down in my description down below, just you know what questions I'm asking as well, just in case you want to do something like, do something like this as well. So yeah, um, so let's get started. I mean, hopefully you guys know, you know a little bit about me as well. If you have any additional questions that I may not cover now that you may want to know about me, Please let me know in the comments down below your only thing that you want to know about me. Again, nothing too personal, guys. Um, but uh, yeah, but um, I mean, if you do ask me questions that I can may consider personal or may feel uncomfortable answering, then I will say it in a nice way. But yeah, but yeah, let's get started with the uh, first one, which is what's my what's my name. Mine, um, I want to say my name is, da I mean, I mean, my name is David. I don't want to say my surname, um, um, you know, at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, my, my name's David. Um, and, um, if you want to follow, follow me on Facebook, I'm on Facebook or on Goodreads and we are really good friends and you like comment on my videos all the time and we, you know, talk you know, all the time on here. Uh, then I will, then I'm more likely to be comfortable giving you that information and we can talk on Facebook, which I am doing f with several people that are subscribed to my channel. But at this moment in time, I don't feel comfortable giving my surname. But yeah, my name is David. Uh, where where am I from? I'm from the UK. I'm from, uh, I mean, I, I'm a British citizen. I'm a British citizen. I'm, I've been a British, I've been British. I mean, I've been actually living in the UK all of my life and um, yeah I live about half an hour um, like a train journey from central London so yeah that's where I'm from um, do I have any pets yes I have one dog called Jake who is a staffy um, he we actually got him from a um, popular uh, dogs and Cats Home called Battersea. Um, if you don't know what Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, it's uh, as I said, it's a really popular shelter over here. It's about about fifteen twenty minute journey on the train, so it's really short. But yeah, it's really really cool. You can go in there and you do have to pay a little, you know, a little you know, admission fee, but not too much. But the admission fee goes towards the care of the dogs and cats, so it's so that's that I suppose. So that's a good thing. Um, and you can go around to the um, so they have like dogs and cats in separate buildings as well. So um, you can go to the see the dogs and the cats as well. It's really good as well because you can go in there and some of them are like barking their heads off and um, some of them are quiet and you can go up to them and have a little conversation to them and get saying oh. Aren't you adorable? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> you know, and all that sort of stuff. That makes you look like a complete, you know, idiot. Um, but yeah, um, they do have um, hand sanitizer things there as well. I'm not sure what that was, <laughs> but yeah, they do have a. Um, but they do have hand sanitizer things there. This was before the coronavirus as well, so that's kind of a thing that they encourage you to that when you go in. To these kennels and if you touch any of the dogs or if you touch any of the handles they encourage you to use the hand sanitizer um which is good i i mean i'm in them I'm, I'm always i'm always using it when i went up there as well and they do have a um good gift shop there as well so they have like a wide variety of books and dog treats and snacks for human beings and 
all different dogs and cat related items. Um, and they do have a little nice restaurant and cafe down there as well, which I always go down there to get something to eat and drink when, whenever I make a visit. And you can make a bit, I mean, you can spend about an hour or two down there as well. So yeah, you can't spend the whole day there, but it's really good. So that's where we got our dog Jake from. Our dog name is Jake. We got him from Battersea and yeah, he's really, really cool. I really like him. He's, 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 he's a big baby. He really is. Um, I mean, people think, people think that Staffies are really, really vicious dogs. And trust me, they do have a mad, I mean, when, when um, Jake bites down on something, he won't let go. Um, unless you really tell him to. But he is the biggest baby ever. He really is. All he does is wants to be stroked. And if you've got any food, doesn't matter what it is, if you're eating around him, he'll want some. So he's really, really cool. So, um, most binge-worthy Netflix show. Strange, stranger things. I mean, seriously, I mean, I could watch that all in one go. It really is cool. As well as Dirk Gently as well. Um, also the um, Dark Crystal. Um, the Rise of the Resistance. I'm pretty sure that's what the series is called. Uh, when I downloaded ne uh, Netflix. That's the reason why I wanted to download Netflix. Is because of the Dark um, Crystal series. So um, I really liked it. I watched it twice. I will never ever get bored of it. And I can probably watch it all in one go. So um, Instant Buy Author. This would probably be Stephen King, or because that's what I'm really in interested in. But I've got all Stephen, but I've got most of Stephen King's books already. Um, minus about three or four. Um, I do buy Stephen King books occasionally now because of the different covers. But I'm more inclined to buy Terry Pratchett or Neil Gaiman books. That I'm trying to get into more. Um, as well as um, Brandon Sanderson books that I want to get into as well. But I'm more inclined to buy m more books on my Kindle rather than actual physical books because I don't have much space in my room for a lot of books. Um, hobbies besides books. I like doing exercises a lot. I'm always exercising every day, whether it's going for walks. I do weights as well with my dumbbells. I'm always doing like sit-ups and like, like fat burning exercises as well. And yeah, I enjoy it. It's something different to do. I do play video games, but not as much as I should or would usually do. But yeah, that's really it, really. Um, when, when it, whenever I was I was working as well, because I work at cinema. Well, whenever I was working before the coronavirus hit, I was working so much. I didn't really have time to do anything apart from reading. I usually like got up in the morning, got ready, and went off to work. Read a book while I was going to work. Done all my stuff there when I was at the cinema. Came home on the train and bus. Read my book. Went to bed, and rinse and re and actually rinse and re and actually rinse and repeat. Sorry, I do have a stutter, guys. So yeah, that's really it. So I didn't really have time to do anything like that. But when I get back to work, which um I will be going back to work on the. Uh, about the middle of next month, um, I just want to give a little mini shout out now on not shout a little, you know, a little update rather. Uh, when I when I go back to work, um, I will be uploading videos every Monday and Friday. Um, I'll, I'll, um, so I'll be uploading videos twice a week, Monday and Friday, uh, when I go back to work. But before, I mean, from now until then, I will be uploading videos whenever I feel like it. But when I do go back to work or nearer the time, probably about a, week, about a week before I go back to work, then I will do a little, a proper update videos just so you guys know that I will, that I will be still uploading videos. So, yeah. So, uh, let me see. What else? Random fact that most people don't know. I'm very self-conscious about the way I look. I don't like the way I look in my face, and I'm very self-conscious about the about my about my belly. I mean, I do have a little bit of a little bit. I mean, I do have a little bit of puppy fat, I suppose. But yeah, I'm very self-conscious about it. I don't like people re re actually referring to me as overweight or fat, as I suppose not a lot of people do really. Um, also, on the more of a fun fact about me is that. I, I cannot blow up balloons. I cannot do it. You give me a balloon, I cannot blow it up. 
um, just so that I can't, uh, that, I, that I am incapable of doing. I cannot blow up balloons. Um, favourite um, bookish slash nerd swag or nerdy swag? I'm not sure what this entails, but um, I do, um, I mean, I guess I do buy a, n loads of duplicate I mean, duplicate books or copies of books that I've read or that I own. Um, I do have um, numerous copies of It and The Stand. Um, and um, whenever I'm out in the bookstore, whether it's brand new or second hands, and I see a book that I have or I want to get that's got a di or that's got a different cover on it, then I will buy it, even though I do have the actual book at home. But I do buy books sometimes for the pretty covers. I mean, I don't. I mean, I know I shouldn't. I'm. It all should be about the words inside rather than a pretty cover. But yeah, um, and also, um, yeah, I suppose that really, yeah, really, what I've got to say about that. Um, one book slash series you love, but but uh, no one talks about. Um, on YouTube, everyone talks about all different types of books and. No matter what it is, you search it in the you know, search engine on here, and I can guarantee someone would have talked about it at least once. I remember I talked about the um, first Owen King book um, called um, what's it called? We are all in this together. And um, I searched that book or a, or, a, or a review on that book lo loads on YouTube, and I couldn't find it or BookTube rather. So I done a so I did a uh, review on that, but I suppose more Owen King books as well. Um, uh, talks about that as well. Apart from um, what's this one that he's done with um, Stephen King, his uh, father, um, Hidden Beauties or Sleeping Beauties. That's what it's called. Um, you can I mean if you type in Owen King reviews, that's all you'll get is reviews of them, Sleeping Beauties. Not We Are All In This Together and Double Feature, which which are his own standalone books or novels. Which um also I do want I do think that the Discworld, the Terry Pratchett Discworld series should be talked about a lot more than it already should do, as well as Dune. I would love to have more reviews on Dune. As well as, I mean, not just the first book, but all the series books. It'd be interesting as well. So, um, yeah. Um, so, my favourite new booktubers. So in, so, in this, I can talk about if I'm from one to three. Um, I'm not sure whether this involves, um, like, people that are new to booktube. Um, and don't have many videos of that, are there, that they have just started out or um, whether they are just new to me. This this was something that um, Pig, that uh, Pygmy Puff wasn't quite sure about either. Also, a massive shout out to her. So, yeah. Um, so, my favourite... So, I've actually chosen three. So, my first one is obviously P and P and P and Pygmy Puff. Sorry. Sorry, I do have a stutter. So, um, I actually refer to her as Puff. I... Um, I don't know her. I don't know her real name, and she think she finds it uncomfortable talking about her real name on her channel, which she talked about on her tag on this video. So, which 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 is fine, but I refer to her as Puff. Um, I love her videos. I watch all of her videos. I watched all of her videos, and I continue watch, to watch all of her videos. I give her all her videos a thumbs up, a comment down below, no matter what it is. I love her channel. She is really, I actually love her energy. She is from Mexico as well. She's got a really adorable accent as well. She's really passionate about books and she's a massive Stephen King fan. So massive thumbs up. Next one is um, Perks of a Book Flower. I really love her channel. Never, I mean, never before have I seen a human being smile so much as she does. Um, her name is Christian, Chris, Chris, uh, Kristen. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's what it's. I'm, pre, I'm actually pretty sure it's what her name is. Sorry if you're watching this um, and I've said your name wrong, but I love uh, the. Um, I mean, but I love her channel, Perks of a Book Flower. As I said, um, if you're feeling down or or whenever I'm feeling down and low, I can just click on one of one of her videos. It doesn't matter what it is or what it's about. Her energy is so high, and her smile is so infectious. She makes me 
um, happy and makes me ha um, and and she instantly cheers me up as well. And also, uh, she also and, and also she's a massive supporter of my channel as well, and she likes my videos. So um, yeah, I really like I really like her work. Um, I do wish that she would do separate uh, book reviews. She she does book I mean I mean book haul video. I mean I mean I mean she usually focuses on a subject or a like a category of books and she like selects a small pile of books that she reviews in one video if that makes sense. But I do wish that she would do I mean every now and then separate book reviews on you in, in your own one individual book or series or whatever. But yeah. But I really liked it, it's really enjoyable. Um and lastly, uh slowly read, I really liked his channel. Um I mean obviously being a uh, book I mean I mean being a um male booktuber we don't, I mean, I mean, about 90% or 95% of booktubers are female, so, which is fine, which which is fine, um, I've got nothing against that, but, um, I do like to watch, um, I mean, male booktubers, you know, as well, and he is a really good one as well, he's, um, he's, he's, his, um, energy is really good as well, he, um, he's trying to find his feet in the uh, booktube in community as well and he trying trying to get his um trying to find his feel for the for his videos and i am helping him out with his channel as well i am a massive supporter of his channel as well and he and he is for mine as well um i actually was his first ever subscriber uh, i was actually looking online and i was like um i mean i was like i think i was looking on fantasy novel you know, you know, you know, re reviews, and um, I came across his video on Dune, and um, I thought, okay, I click on it, um, and I thought, okay, I, I should give this guy a chance, and I watched his video. I really liked his video. I really liked how he actually talked and how he interacted with the camera and how he described the novel as a whole. And I thought, okay, I like, I actually like this guy. I give him, I'm pretty sure I'll give his video a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I also subscribed to his channel because I actually saw something in him, in him which I liked. So please check out his channel. Again, all these um, them free channels, I will put descriptions down. Well, not descriptions, but I'll put links down below so you can check these channels out. So uh, and then lastly, it says uh, tag a few people. So this is going to be my kind of honourable mentions of people that kind of I like and that support my channel as well. So this is kind of like a massive thumbs up to them. So my first one is actually got to be uh, Cinematic um, Addicts. Uh, he's a very big supporter of my channel. I talk to him a lot on Facebook. And um, even though he is a film related channel, he does give me loads of comments and feedback and he does like the books I should talk about. So he is really, really cool. Um, please do check out his videos. They are really short. They are reviews on numerous types of uh, films, whether they are horror or whether they are kids movies. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. He's, he actually is doing all of them. And he, and I did tell him how to set up some play and um, some playlists as well. So he's, his videos are all in categories. So yeah, really, really cool. Next one is um, Book Cats with Glasses. I've talked to her about her before. Uh, she is a um, female booktuber. Again, I don't know what her real name is, but I just call her Cat. Um, and um, her channel, she doesn't like film herself like what I'm doing right now. She animates her videos um, and she portrays herself as a kind of a, you know, a cat, you know, animated cat with glasses. And um, she talks about books, like she talks about um, like Dracula, she talks about um, The Great Gatsby, which I know is one of her favourite novels. <laughs> and um, and also she talks about Brand Brandon Sanderson as well, which is um, still hot, which I'm going to read as well. So please do check out her channel, she's really good. I'm surprised that she doesn't have as much subscribers as she should do. She's really good. I mean... If you're not sure, just just actually please please actually just check it out. I mean, you don't have to subscribe to her channel. Just go and watch her videos, and just give her videos a thumbs up if you like them. And if you comment, she will always comment back to you. She's one of them people. 
Um, so yeah, and if you like our videos, please subscribe to the channel. Um, so yeah, really good. And lastly, I just want to give a shout out to um, Trailer Recuts, who, um, as the name suggests, he um, finds a film and he uh, re he re edits the trailer for it. So he's done the Matrix, he's done um, Sonic the Hedgehog. And as a request of mine, he is going to be um, doing a recut of the uh, new Bill and Ted's Face the Music trailer. Because I said to him, that, oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm a massive fan of Bill, you know, the Bill and Ted movies. And I said, oh, you should do one. And he's doing one especially for me. So, yeah, and he's giving me a shout out. So thank you so much if you're watching this video. So yeah, um, that's really it really guys. Um, I mean, as I said, if you've got any more questions that you want to ask me, please let me know in the comments down below. And thank you Puff for bringing this video to my attention and I will tag you in this video. So yeah, and I will tag everyone, you know. So yeah, um, my next video is going to be on the 19th of this month um, where I am going to be reviewing different stuff I'll be watching on Netflix for the um, Blackout Buddy Reads. Uh, so I want to talk about more, like, content by black creators. So, yeah, looking forward to doing that. I'm talking about four films I'll be watching on there. So I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, thank, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, please look at my other videos as well. And um, I'll see you on my next video. See ya. Bye.